Morning ladies, I hope you're all alright. Um, right, I'm coming on to show you this product and it is the WOW Embossing Powders and the WOW Melting Powder. Now I'm just, I am um, demonstrating, I couldn't think of the word then, demonstrating this product on behalf of a company called Handy Hippo Crafts. They're a quite a large, well a very large online craft company craft supplies company and you can find them quite easily by typing in your search search bar handyhippo.co.uk but I will leave a link below uh, and I will just tell you that at the moment they have got a sale on with up to 70% off quite a large range of stuff um, as I say they are a large company with over 37,000 items in stock and they're one of the they are the UK's la they have in stock the UK's largest selection of Sizzik dyes, obviously other than Sizzix themselves. And you need to check out their postal costs because they are extremely reasonable. Small packets, small orders are £2.29 and if you spend over £40 you get free shipping. Um, there is a no questions asked returns policy so if you're not happy with a product you can send it back, it's not a problem. Um, they sell absolutely loads of stuff card making supplies, paper crafts, die cutting, stamps, embossing powders, y you name it, most likely they've got it. Go along and have a look. Um, they've got an absolutely massive, massive range of stock and they do sell some nice paper pads as well. Um, and, and, and I know that they're planning on expanding as well um, their paper lines and... Um, what have you? Right, I'm going to show you this now. It's really fun to play with. Now, I've had a few goes, um, and I will just quickly show you the light. I hope the lighting's not. Um, this is the rose one. Um, it, there you go. There you go. That's better with the light. Look at the detail on that. Isn't it fabulous? Now these are just under 10 mil, so they're just the right size for flower embellishments. You can um, add jewellery findings. When it's in the um, molten stage in the mould, you can add ring blanks or earring blanks to them to make jewellery. Um, this is the butterfly one. I haven't made a lot of the butterfly ones yet. That's one of them. Okay. Um, because time was getting on and I did say that I'd have this up today. That's the gold one. So I've just been playing and I, I've, my favourite I think so far is the rose one. I'm going to quickly show you how to do it. Okay. So you don't need a melting pot for these. A lot, a, a lot of people are using melting pots at the moment. You don't have to have one for this product. You can use a metal tray. And what you do is, this is just cheapo metal tray. Expand the concertina part. And make yourself a spout like that okay doesn't have to be anything special and use a peg to hold it with while you're heating it um, just so you don't burn yourself obviously you're not gonna hold the metal tray while you're heating it up are you right now the consistency that you need is one tablespoon dessert spoon whatever you want to call it in the UK this is a standard spoon that comes with your cutlery with your knives and forks okay so you have one spoon of the melting powder to a quarter of a spoon of colour of embossing powders okay so here we go and this is super fine this stuff and the reason it's so fine it's very fine don't sneeze on it that's what I'll be all over but <laughs> it's like icing sugar um, and the reason it's so fine is so that it melts fast melts quickly okay I'm going to use, which colour shall I use? Uh, I'll use the pink because I, I, it's my favourite. So I'm going to do pink. So about a quarter. Okay. Now you can make them with no colouring, with just the melting um, powder, with just that. Uh, I'm not sure, but I should imagine you'd be able to colour them with other things like alcohol inks or whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I should imagine you. Although with these coloured embossing powders, you've no need to have you because they've already got a nice colour. 
I mean, obviously, you can use the embossing powders as well, uh, as you would normally with embossing powders, you know, on stamped images. But this is in tandem with the melting powder to make embellishments. And then you just, so you give it a really good mix, okay? Oops. Wasting it. Let's go back in there. And then you get your heat gun underneath it and you melt it from underneath, holding it with your peg. Okay. Now I've timed it and it takes about two and a half minutes. So let's hope. Let's hope this uh, does it quickly. So like I say, it's handyhippo.co.uk. Go on, just go on over and have a look. They sell all sorts of stuff. Absolutely all sorts. So I'm just heating it from underneath with my heat gun. My heat gun's nothing special. It's just a normal run of the mill heat gun. Now there are quite a lot of videos on YouTube if you want to look into this product a bit more and see other uses for it just go to your um, YouTube search bar and type in WOW embossing powders and there are other demonstrations on there there's quite a few um, and there are some from the actual WOW company themselves but I'm demonstrating this on behalf of Handy Hippo Crafts because it's one of the lines that they do, one of many But I think um, they're definitely worth looking at, especially um, for the Sizzix dies. Bearing in mind that Handy Hippo's postage for a small package is two twenty nine, and anybody that buys Sizzix dies knows that that is very good. It's a very good postage. Right, now, because I'm impatient and I don't want to run out of time, I'm now going to lift my heat gun to the top and finish melting off the powder. Very gently because it is very fine and it will fly everywhere right there. It's melted already. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to hold your gun at the top corner and it will make all of the molten liquid run down to the bottom corner okay now you can hold your heat gun quite close to the um, liquid because it won't burn because it's designed to melt so it's not going to burn okay and another good thing about this is if you're not happy with your mould when it comes out if it's gone a bit skew with or you're not happy with it Put it back in the tray and it will all remelt. There is no wastage with this product. Save your tray afterwards and when you mix the same colour, put it back in this tray and heat it all back up again. There's absolutely no waste. Right. When it gets lovely, lovely, lovely and gooey and runny, that's when you want to start thinking about getting it down to the spout. Okay, and we're going to pour it into the mould. Okay. Just be extra careful that you don't, you know, this is molten liquid. You don't want to be burning yourself, so please be careful. Don't pour it in too fast. 
otherwise you end up with too much and you'll have a, a residue on your top which you don't really want and then just take your heat away and just lift it up and it'll stop running so that you don't fill your mould too full I've learnt that and I've only done it three times so you know it doesn't matter what level of crafting you're at whether you're new or whether you've been at it years everybody can do this and it is great fun because you're making your own custom embellishments you know you know, you can buy um, embellishments um, from wherever can't you you know and you might buy a pack of them and um, there's always colours that you don't want in there you know or you're using the same colours over and over again the beauty of this is you know you can mix your own colours so you can make the, make them to coordinate your project um, so you can make them all pink or you could make a couple of pink a couple of gold you could do what you want um, I'll just quickly show you the butterfly I haven't played with the butterfly mould as much yet I'm going to do but I want to try this colour but I just wanted to get the video out there pretty sharpish so that you can um, go and have a look at the website and, and have a look and maybe order some and have a play uh, and I've, I've made all of these people are going to be getting these in the racks um, these flowers I'll just show you again I mean the details lovely on them so there you go right now it doesn't take long to dry if you touch it and that's still a little bit warm in the middle because it's quite a deep mould these ones dry in no time because they're very shallow look this one's a bit deeper so it might take a little bit longer and if you've got any bits hanging over the edge like see how I've got that if you just flick it off it just snaps off it's not a problem so like I said, jewellery making, card making, you can put them as a flower centre on a shabby chic flower, you can put them on your boxes, you can put them on your altered art, you can put them on anything you want. And there you go. And just that little tiny bit that was dangling over the edge, just snap it off while it's still warm. There you go. And that's a lovely, lovely detail. Absolutely brilliant. Now I am a very a very novice crafter and it's only taken me three goes to get this right. And like I say, nothing's wasted because whilst you're playing and getting the combination right and the consistency right, what whatever you come out with that doesn't look quite right, throw it back in your pot and remelt it. It doesn't matter, you're not gonna waste it. So there you go, ladies. Um, that's a very interesting product for you to play with to you know then when you're making your your projects you can proudly say to yourself that absolutely every component of it is handmade so there you go so hop along to handyhippo.co.uk and have a look at the massive range of stuff that they've got um, it's quite. They've got quite an uh, uh, impressive uh, range of stock, and there's something there for every kind of crafter. Card making, paper making, uh, paper crafts. Sorry, everything. So there you go. Right, ladies. I'd like to thank you all for watching and taking time to have a look at my demonstration. And <laughs> um, go and get some and have a play. They're not expensive. Um, and I should imagine that that will last quite a long time as will these as well I'm going to have to play at these as well and see what they're like as embossing powders um, with some um, embossing ink um, so that'll be interesting right thanks for watching take care and I'll see you soon bye for now